Making espresso is an art, and there are some subtle factors that make all the difference between a good espresso and a not so good extraction. So I'm gonna run through some helpful tips that'll help you master extracting with your Breville espresso machine. Breville espresso machines have a pre-infusion process, and that occurs as a result of the dual wall filter. If you take a closer look at your filter, you'll see multiple holes on the inner wall, and then if you turn it over, or hold it up to the light, you'll see one exit hole. And what that does, it actually increases pressure inside the brew head. And that increased back pressure is gonna get more extraction of the natural oils from the espresso, and you can get more crema on your espresso. And that's the sign of a good espresso. Much like an ice cream scoop that you have to submerge in water after each use, it's a really good idea to get in the habit of cleaning your dual wall filter after each extraction. Otherwise, you run the risk of the filter becoming blocked. So I'm gonna run through some helpful tips of looking after your dual wall filter. First things first, use the correct espresso grind. So the best way to do that is to actually feel it. If you grind it too fine, it comes much like flour or powder. So what that's gonna do inside the filter, it'll trap the water and it won't be able to pass through the brew head. And then if you do it too coarse, like this, then water's just gonna flush straight through the brew head and it's gonna be under extracted and have no flavour. So the best consistency is to have a sand-like granular consistency, which will stay in your fingers, but it's still gonna have that granulated result. And that's gonna pass through the brew head at the correct rate and you're gonna have a perfect espresso. Getting the right tamp is also important. So simply level out a scoop and then use your tamping side and just do a light tamp down. And then just get rid of any excess grounds and then you're ready to brew. Straight after extraction, you may notice that your puck is wet and soppy, but this is completely normal and is a result of the dual wall filter because there hasn't been enough time for the water to drip through the filter. So it's a really good habit to get into to actually clean your filter and your shower head after each use. So simply clean it out and then just wipe it down with a damp cloth and then just put it on like you'd normally do if you're extracting an espresso and just let the water flush out any residual espresso from the shower head and the filter, like so. And then if you're still having problems that it's still blocked, just use your handy cleaning tool and just prick that exit hole, like so, to get rid of any blockages in your filter. Remember to look after your dual wall filters. Remember that espresso grind, the scoop size and the tamping pressure will all make that beautiful crema on your espresso.